points, which I can work on those. Um, thousand dollars and uh, fifteen hundred, I think, were the, the three main that we had gotten. And um, the mayor requested that we keep it under a thousand dollars and do the nine hundred for the first reading. So that's what we went ahead and figured those on. And that's what when June figured the budget up, that's what we figured any of the increases on. Later, but the news that June gave me today isn't real bright as far as budget. We're going to just sit down and do our budgets to see what comes out of it. It's not real bright. It's not real bright. Keywords <coughs> cut out. <laughs> My taxes went up, and I believe our budget's going to be less. Problem with uh, approving it on the first reading. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve 2009 and 10 if we can on the first reading. I'll second that. Any discussion? Can you please, Jim? Jamie? Yes. Darrell? Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you, David. Agenda. We've got to do a duel here. We must handle that marker, Gary. I lost the point off on this. I lost the camper street camp. Uh, commissioner during the street update. We have a copy in front of you. Passed out. Uh, we've reviewed it. Uh, we've reviewed it. Uh, we've reviewed it. 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 We've they also have a, a brief synopsis of winter activities that will be going on. Um, as most of you know, they're starting, they're starting to take shape on the quarter of it, reaching completion. Uh, the back curves, I think, are all in now. The drives are in. You're starting to see uh, soil being placed. So it's starting to look like what's going to look like in the final project. Um, their intent is after the 17th of August, they're going to shift all the traffic over onto the west side of the project on the north end, and they'll begin with the ventilation then on the east side and have the entire north half completed here before the end of construction season this year. And you'll have a better grasp of it when you see it. Before they shift the traffic over, they're going to go ahead and plant the trees and the sod there in the next couple of weeks. So you'll really get to see what's going to look like once we finish that. So it will be completed then? Everything will be down except for the final layer of the asphalt for the surface, which they'll do both sides at one time. Yeah, one time. And then the pavement marks. The trees and everything. The, the lights and the automated signals. Mm -hmm. That will be from bypass to Cumber Romans? Yes. That's true. It'll actually go down to Fifth Street as far as having the first four lifts of asphalt and curves mm -hmm. They kind of changed that when they were waiting a little bit for the McDonald's demolition to occur. They went ahead and decided to add a couple of side streets in and do that additional work while they had a, a little bit of a lull. Anybody have any questions for the schedule? So then after that's done, you do the other side. Then from Fifth Street down to, or what he said that from, the Northern <coughs> Roman area on down to the hospital is it. It's actually the start of the project and say the end of the project. When will they put up our new sign? Uh, shop drawings have been approved. Uh, they have it. So many of them. We shouldn't have those in the next day or two. We'll get back to the contract. That's a sub doubt. I think they're I think O'Mara's going to do concrete work, and then Brunswick the Gutswater will do all of the facade and the finish on the side and the tower on the other corner. This is unrelated to Lincoln Street, but we were going to the Wings and Rings the other day, and we noticed that going down 421, all that whole 
sidewalk down there is full of grass growing through all the cracks. It doesn't look that pretty. Um, along the state highway? Mm -hmm. That's our responsibility, right? That's not any of our responsibility? From the bypass all the way out to the left side of the new interchange is still U.S. Highway 421. <coughs> but so we clean that off, right? Or no, we do not. What we area do we clean off again? I'm sorry. We start as soon as we go through the offset at the overpass, the new interchange, right. and you start to head west. There's a <coughs> monument sitting there where the corner curvature means where the live road straightens up by the big oak tree. We go from there all the way out to Jerry Schrader's property line just past 300 north. We also have 300 north then and along the west side of Honda. We have, you actually turn in front of Honda, you go up the truck route. We have a portion of that up to the center of the bridge. Then the county has a section then we pick up the section, and then the state picks up the section coming back. It's <laughs> made the state's not trimming their weeds on the side anymore. And it's pretty, yeah. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, Honda's been great to work with. They kind of helped us out. They have mowed everything out on our parcel as far as on the north side between the new road and the U.S. or Interstate 74 fence. You've noticed that everything's been maintained on both sides out there. That one part would be our responsibility, and their contractor has been going that along the north side of Michigan Road or Old 421, whichever you want to refer to it. What I've seen of Lincoln Street so far looks pretty good. Just right by eye so far. I think uh, Gerald can speak on behalf of the Redevelopment Commission. I think they're starting to hear a lot of positive comments. It's finally starting to take some shape and people can see what it's going to look like. Especially from business owners along Lincoln Street. And uh, that was one of our biggest concerns when we started the project. Um, yeah, they're suffering a little bit, you know, with lack of business and loss of business. I think we had a discussion about uh, El Ricaro the other night because they were shut off for so long. But, uh, I think everyone's going to survive, and they, they seem to be very tense. The positive is starting to come out now. I know uh, as far as the acre car dealership, uh, Rick, Todd, Kirk, they all said, you know, if it wouldn't have been the one rain we had with the serious storm event, they said, man, if we'd have been moving 300 cars if we'd have been under the water, it wouldn't have been for it. And we didn't have any water on the lot. The only, the only thing I noticed the other day driving down through there, where it's so deep there, and the Lincoln. How are they going to deal with that on the other side of the street? Because their their drop offs go right even with the street as of right now. So they're going to have to go into the lots quite a way in order to get a slope right there. They just going to it's have not to not as bad as you think it's going to be. In other words, when the other side's dropped, you won't even know you're heading down. That single one side's drop is mm -hmm. still in the Actually, the highest side. driveway prior to construction was the one going into the Scripture Auto Sales, and they have a pretty good rent. I know when their rent was first being formed, they said, man, that's going to be steep. But now they've got the back curb in, the sidewalks in, and they realize they're going to have the grass area. I heard the salesman talk, we love it, man. We pull our, our SUVs and our pickups up, and everybody comes in because they can make monster vehicles up there. So it all has a benefit along with the negative. But so far, most of the business has seen pretty static. The real the commission and I have done the equipment had in the paper for two or three long cats for the additional equipment first. Thank you for businesses on the industry for their patience and also encouraging the people who have done business in the industry to continue to do so because they need to need their business now and there's Everybody has their opinion, but a lot a lot of people have said it's so much better than they would have ever thought. In other words, the total delay most of the time from one end of the project to the other probably don't amount to 30 seconds to a minute. And if you talk to people that actually travel from Greensburg and have to go through Rushville where they simply just close the door path in the town, damn. <laughs> if you talk to the business owners up there, I know I went tiny in a Rushville project worked in our favor. Yes. Because everybody knows that it's not near as bad to go through Greensburg as it is to try to go through Rushville. 
I talked to one business owner up there, and they were running about 24% of their volume. 